pretend I didn't hear that. Huh. Oh, don't be that way. It's different when a girl cooks for And that is why you have no idea what it tastes like. No more delays. We'll talk to Iris. And then we'll talk to Sid. Nothing more, nothing less. And then we'll go to, over to Altisia. Altisha. Whatever you call it. Snoo Snoo Boogaloo for all I care. It is forward. Hello, Iris. Hey there. Oh, did you check out the elevator? It takes you right down to the dock. There's something about savoring the vegetables of your own labor. We should totally do this again. So clever cook up good question hunts. And death. <laughs> this dude, he's just waiting. I'll just wait. It'll probably ruin them because I'll be gone for multiple days and nights and stuff, but who cares? Hello, Sid. There you all are. Here's your weapon now. A drain lance three. There you all are. Get ready to be blown away. I won't be, because it won't match up to anything. Oh, what? That quest, the quest was called A Better Engine Blade 2. Yeah, I got an Engine Blade 3. What? There y'all are. Get ready to be blown away. And this is also why I am not going to give you m the cutter thingy. Because... Uh, uh, well, so I guess the Bioblaster has reached its pinnacle. <laughs> Here you go, buddy. A pair of plunderers, too. Not as good. Drain lance, not as good. If only we hadn't found the radiant lance. And the engine blade. Hmm. I have to look up. What do the feathers mean? What do the spell? What does the feather mean? Mhm. Mm oh, dark resistant factor. Engine blade it is. <laughs> that way, I can actually do damage to things. Cause I'm pretty sure that it. Do I'm not sure, but still, sapping stuff. Mm. Give him the. Give the helix. Oh. Well. If that means an extra super powerful, nicey thing. Yes. Oh, y'all brace yourself for power. I mean, I could just. Stand up straight, boy. Oh, y'all brace yourself for power. But, 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 I'll sleep overnight. But wait, that won't do activated actually, so screw you! Yes. Well, puppy? Hambra, right? He just slapped the puppy upside the head. How dare you! Now, what can we add today to the diary? Waiting for you in Altitia. Be there as fast as I can. Still think you're a lame character. Give me reason to like you in Altissa, okay? 
what I would have written if I was Noctis. Ah. Where's Sid? Isn't he going to be piloting the boat? Soon, I will be on a boat. No jumping in the elevator. I do what I want. Look, Prince Noctis, even the marshal came to say goodbye. How did you get here? Huh. You took. I heard the regalia is going on the boat with you. You didn't forget to pack anything, did you? Hey, here is. I guess it's goodbye for now. The regalia is already waiting below deck. Hopefully, she'll serve you as well across the ocean as she did. Yes. Here. Just don't break her. Or Sid will have your head. <laughs> the regalia is already waiting below deck. Alrighty. It's nice seeing you all. For all of five minutes. Something I gotta get off my chest. What's that? I'm sorry. Sorry I wasn't there for your father. I swore an oath to protect the king. I wasn't strong enough to uphold it. <sighs> Ain't nothing nobody could have done to stop what happened. Yeah. I realize that. But you need to realize just what you mean to the boys by your side. Even if they can't solve your problems, you can't hide what's going on from now. Like what your old pal did, pa did to us. It hurts like hell. Remember, those ain't your bodyguards, they're your brothers. Trust him. Never have too many tools. Here, learn to wield not only weapons but magic as well. Another flask? Yay! Just remember, it's a destructive force that doesn't discriminate. I suggest putting someone in charge of it. Me, because I don't care. When I get magic, things die. Good things, bad things, don't care. Is things. All right. Well, it's a stinking speedboat. Waiting for an invitation? Get your asses on board. <laughs> My man, a boat. Hey, your Majesty. Y'all talking? What's up? See Wavi. Hopefully nothing bad happens while we're away. Cause I like Iris. Tolkien not as much, but then again he he's not as fleshed out. And is a child. Ha. <laughs> Okay. Photos. We gonna be deleting some stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Gonna be deleting some stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't really like that all that much. Dalot. Dalato and Scapio di Respadici. He is Jesus. Yeah, I don't like that photo as much. Just because her mouth's open, it just makes it look weird. And give that, and that should have enough for all the photos I want to save. Save that photo. Oh, of course save this photo. We have 
the butler dude who we never really talked to, Talcott. Ah, I forget her name, but the lady that's under that works underneath the marshal. Iris Sid. Sid is tiny. Sid is a dwarf. Even though your head is clipping through her head, I accept this picture. Finally! We're going forward! Leave you behind all those aggravating... Oh. Chapter 9. Colleen's. Noctis receives a warm send-off as he sets sail for Altissa. In high spirits, the prince goes forth ostensibly, ostensibly to seek the blessings of Hydrian, which will enable him to challenge the Empire's might, but his true heart's desire is to find Luna Freya, his betrothed. Which should technically be called off by now, I mean... The entire wedding was put together as a get Noctis away from the Empire, get Luna away from the Empire, as well as stop things with the Empire, hopefully. What is the point of their marriage now? I don't get it. In fact, we haven't even seen them interact. Physically. Unless we count children. Uriel Plaza. Altissia. Altisha. He has a fancy robot arm. The wedding day arrives, but alas, without the bride. Of course, we've come for the Hydrian. And you've gone to such lengths to prepare. Merely my duty. Ah, oh, but for an outsider to lead the Imperial Army must be a battle in and of itself. You've spoken to Lady Luna Freya. No. That obstinate secretary, standing in the way, while you rush off to slay the Hydrian for your poor sister's sake. I know the price of the Covenant. And what is the price of the Covenant? You can skip, so this means we can go back. I've always wanted to go sailing like this. Not many opportunities living in insomnia. Out here, it's just us and the horizon. It's amazing. It's life-changing. We've quite a ways to go until we reach Altisha, so keep gushing to your heart's content. When we step off the boat, we'll be in a foreign country. The anticipation alone is a foreign sensation. Then to think this is where we were headed to begin with. <laughs> We've been through a lot. And there's still more to come. So next on the docket is Leviathan. What sort of deity are we dealing with? A serpent said to embody the roar and rage of the sea. We'll have to see for ourselves. <laughs> can't let Lady Luna Freya do all the heavy lifting. You must be so psyched to see her. Luna? Yeah. Well, we need to make sure she's alright before anything else. Indeed. Her well-being is top priority. Don't like this going down on Imperial turf. Do you think Lady Luna Freya is in danger there? The Empire did invade Lucis for the ring. I have no faith their ruthless ambitions will stop short of harming the Oracle. Without the ring, the crystal's no more than a rock. Hmm. I suppose. Does anyone know how Lady Luna Freya came to have the ring? It seems likely His Majesty entrusted it to her safekeeping back at the Crown City. So she's held on to it this whole time, all the way to Altitia. The ring is important, and so is Leviathan. But Luna comes first. You know, I was thinking back to our encounter with Ravis. Hmm. Do you recall an apparatus in place of his arm? Yeah, I remember. Seems he lost his old one in the invasion. But in its place, he seems to have acquired new power. That would help explain how a son of Tenebrae suddenly came to command Niflheim's army. Now that you mention it, did the ring actually give him power? Supernatural. I just chalked it up to the Oracle lineage. His ancestry may be part of it. Because he in the movie he put on the ring, demanded power, and then his arm arm burned off. So could it be that he actually did squeak some power from it? 
Then what's the big idea behind that? That his powers are the same as the power of kings? I cannot say for sure, but I have my doubts. Ravis wears the sword, but doesn't wield it. For all his newfound powers, he's still the Chancellor's lapdog, holding on to the enemy king's sword like some badge of honor. It might help if we knew what he was after. What the friends say? What are the odds the Empire will crash the pool party with Leviathan? Consider it a guarantee. They fell with God to prevent Noct from receiving his blessing. And they'll do so again. But we beat him to the big guy. Thanks to our friendly guide. Never know which way that one's gonna move next. And the Chancellor has an agenda all his own. Sometimes it helps, like when he called off his army and let us escape. But he was still a creep about it. Well, it feels like he's only helping us because he wants something. I just don't know what. Reckon we'll see him again? Certainly hope not. Not your type. <laughs> no love lost for bonies. As Gladio said. His actions are motivated not by altruism, but by self-interest. And when he does come to our aid, I see only condescension in his eyes. Yeah, can't argue with that. Ever think you think too much? Sometimes, but it's always preferable to the alternative. Hmm. Are we there yet? Well, didn't you say you always wanted to go sailing? Yeah, but all this ocean gets kind of bland after a while. Last time I checked, it was amazing and life-changing. Huh. So, soon, you'll have your old man's ring back. Yeah. When we arrive in oh, no, he won't. Good. Things will happen. To him, it was his heritage. Is that what my dad said? Carrying a royal line ain't a task to be taken lightly. For a small thing, that ring can sure weigh heavy. After he became king... I only ever saw his face in the paper. Wait, weren't you at the coronation? No, I was long gone from the city. You must have been invited at least. Had a fallen out of sorts with your old man. Right at the end of a trip. You did? I was given to understand you stayed in touch. We buried the hatchet years later, but never talked face to face again. Should have paid a visit while I had the chance. Well, no use dwelling on it now. Got the regalia in the hold, but you're all gonna stay in Altitia for a good while, right? Yes, we believe so. In that case, I'll tune her up for y'all. Not that I'll have much to do, though. <laughs> well, with Cindy looking after the old girl. If you say she's good, she must be great. She was never afraid of hard work. Heaven knows she had a hard childhood. Our childhood. He means her parents. Lost them both when she was little. She was big enough to understand, though. And to hurt. But you wouldn't guess that, seeing her now. Not at all. She's always so cheerful. Well, that ought to tell you how far she's come. Well, you must have seen your fair share of Altisha by now. Yeah. Only done been the once. Stayed a good while, though. What's it like? Big old city. Big. Okay. <laughs> well, it ain't the crown city. Different. <laughs> You'll see for yourself. Foreign lands say themselves to trite explanations. Change of scenery ought to do you good. Well, I'm all talked out. Can't be far to Altisha now, right? We'll be there in no time. I like these little nice longer seen. moments of conversation between the characters. himself a diner or a cafe or something. Go and see for yourselves. Sure. And does the place have a name? McGee or Magoo or uh, Mago. That's the one. Nice. <laughs> you can count on Old West. <laughs> He'll chew your ears off. Ah. The government issued a statement promising that the reasons behind awakening the Hydrian would be clarified in the ceremonial address. Gas signal. 
delivering the address will be Lady Ludafreya, who was previously reported dead. This will mark her first public appearance since the violence that fell the signing ceremony. Okay, this is kind of creepy. Sounds like it. Lord knows. Dear Lord, this is beautiful. You can walk on the sides. There are so many stairs. Who the hell are you? An Imperial Ambassador? Does this vessel have an entry permit? Uh, entry permit? Relax. I got one. Here. That's as old as they get. Things in order. You must pass. <laughs> It is a very, very old piece of paper. Prepared in advance. Could say that. Thirty odd years ago. That's what the guy meant by old. Lucky us, huh? That could have ended badly. Mighty fine place. Reminds me of Venice. And finally, the place we've been seeing in all the loading screens. Yes. We can shove Sid. Hello, will you please let me through, or else I will have to punch you. Sir, what is the purpose of your visit? Purpose, uh... Options? Ask Agnes. Ignis. Ignis, a little help? <sighs> Utterly hopeless. You're the adult. We are scholars of the culinary arts, and we've come to study the renowned cuisine of your fair nation. Is that so? I wish you an enlightening <laughs> Another one you owe me. <laughs> that is amusing. You want to check Westcombe's place out? Yeah, let's all go to Mago. Perhaps we'll even make it in time for tea. And then we'd better start looking out. But I like that. It's just like... May you have an enlightening stay. It's just like they really like it when people compliment their food. Gondolas. <laughs> there are no horses here. This is the Water Nation. Unless you want to eat a seahorse. It is a dead person. We must loot their body. The Leviel at this year. Conveniently located near a gondola shop. A hotel is the perfect base of exploring Altissia. Luxury in the comfort of our spacious and well-appointed suites. Look at this tiny evergreen. It is a perfect Christmas tree. So what next? Murder people. Is there a weapon shop? Is there a weapon shop? I want a weapon shop. I want to buy things. Oh, Stein. Gondolas. Lots and lots of gondolas. Holy crap, this place is big. Probably doesn't offer much in... Uh, way of battle. But oh well, looks like we won't be getting any... War on any time soon. I am disappointed! Very disappointed. But hopefully there's a weapon shop that I'll come across eventually. Yeah, lose the no! But I have to keep up my emo outlook on life. Oh, fine. We have to go all the way up. Ah. 
Hey, Prompty. Hey, not. Yeah. There's supposed to be a scenic spot nearby. All the locals recommend it. Wanna check it out? Take some snaps. Yeah. Well, if it comes recommended, sure. Yeah. <laughs> this is what a road trip's all about. You are not going to get drunk, and that is final. I like the music. It's a it's a nice different take. Even if it does sound stock. This place is gonna get destroyed, ain't it? It's kinda like a rule of video games. Oh, a beautiful place. It gonna die. It's Vanna Westwood. But what about Vienna Worcestershire? What's a good place to stay? In the river. The fish keep you company. Gillette Gargion in the Estate District. We recommend Gilletto made with fine wine from Veldoria. Not for children or lightweights. Try other sophisticated gelato flavors. And for the faint of heart, fear not. We have enough flavors to please the pickiest of palates. Dead people. Everyone here is so stylish. We're stuck in travel black. Why not try wearing your official Lucian battle gear with pride? You might even become a real trendsetter around here. I wonder why he was gotten this place. Your power is mine! <laughs> Fools, they never expected a Lucian royal! They never expect the Lucian royalty. Oh. Huh. Just what are you up? I am absorbing the magic with the magical absorption dance. Do you know nothing about magic? Let's see. Ah, Quintacast. And now we'll just go ahead and go with the Reflex Enhancer. They never expect... Lucian royalty to come and steal their magic. The fools. Uh, this place feels restricted. Okay. This place is most definitely going to be a quest location. And if it is not, I will be honestly surprised, disappointed, and foggy? I guess that's... I guess the fog... Hmm. It's nice to not have to kill anything. Ah, <laughs> fool. But yeah, I guess the fog was the... Oh, if things are not supposed to be seen, so lesson hardware thing of a Check. Vision Street. What a sent to Buckingham Palace. How the hell do we get to the lower floor? And I mean the actual low floor. 
How can I see the bar? Is it evening already? Time flies when you're having fun. Time flies when you are alone in life. Uh, still, why do they have a god placed here if they're just not going to guard anything? Besides magic, which we stole. This place is hurting me. How do I get to the bar? I want to take a picture. The game is mean. Yarg. Oh, is this the proper way? Nope, it leads to the same place. Just swim, you bastard. It is quite lovely at twilight. Yeah, but there's something lonely about it too. All the dead people? Gondola. Care for a ride? Gondola. Floating market station, take me there. There's a bot. Well, I guess we're coming here anyway. But if you drop into the water, you'll drown. Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. <laughs> Welcome to Accordo, lads. Sid mentioned you'd be dropping in. What's Gamarma, as you've gathered? My word, you've grown, little prince. Hmm. Ah, but of course. <laughs> you were only a babe at the time. But firstly, after the journey with his majesty, he settled here and opened shop. He's an old specimen. First, we take a photo. Take a shot from here. The Archean's wicked mm. resulted. Oh, this lighting's no good. Maybe next You time interrupted a stinking talk. The Empire effectively runs the show yeah. here. You lose sight of that when there's so much else to see. Huh. Welcome to Mago. Be sure to check out our wine list. All wines are selected to complement our seafood and salad dishes. Seems like the kind of guy who knows how to cook. He does run a cafe. Hmm. Wouldn't mind sampling some of his handiwork. Hello, Westcom. You have a monocle. This is your maiden visit. Enjoying it so far? You doubtless have many questions, so ask away. This country is a part of the Empire, isn't it? Oh, you're wary. I understand. But there's no need to jump at every shadow. Just be aware that the terms of our independence grant the Empire free reign to come and go as they please. We'll bear that in mind. It's admittedly a one-sided arrangement. Most everything we do requires Niflheim's permission. And they wouldn't knowingly permit the Oracle to appear before the public. How our government spun that is quite a mystery. Okay. Ask about the Oracle, ask about the vibe, and ask about the Oracle. You really think Luna will make an address? If every recent radio broadcast is to be trusted, absolutely. Where is Lady Luna Freya? In the city somewhere. But no one has caught so much as a glimpse of her. The media has been conspicuous in its silence on the matter, which speaks volumes of government intervention. That certainly explained the rumors of disgruntled Imperial officers leaving the city. All right, I'll ask about the Empire. So you see lots of Nifs around here? 
We do, sometimes even at my place. Theirs is a familiar presence, and the citizens don't think much of it. Though the High Commander did cause a stir when he showed up the other day. Ravis. So soon after they fell the Archean and Lucis, his arrival fuels rumors that they will next come to Altisha. The Empire's not content ruling all the land. They want the heavens as well. And now, finally! Leviathan! Has anything changed with Leviathan? For now, it's business as usual at port. But word is the government will soon open the altar of the Tide Mother. In preparation for the right. Ah, but on the other hand, they're scrambling to stockpile emergency provisions. This begs the question. If they're anticipating that the Hydrian will wreak havoc, why would they allow the right to proceed? Well, if you need anything else, you know where to find me. Hi, my old chap. Yes, appreciate it. What? Oh, my dear Camellia, it's been a while. I've heard about your distinguished guests. Ah, you've an ear for gossip. You made it. Now let's hurry over to the arena. Hello there. Gentlemen, I won't waste your time. My name is Camellia Clostra. First secretary of the Accordo Protectorate. You should know. We have Lady Lunafreya in our care. And the Empire demands we surrender her. Yet I am loath to acquiesce unless we stand to profit. Hence I've come to discuss terms with the King of Lucis. If you've a mind to talk, come to my estate. She can be oblique at the best of times, but I assure you, her heart is in the right place. Oh, okay. <laughs> at any rate, you must be weary from your journey. Might I suggest you seek your beds for now and ponder matters anew in the morning? Yeah, I think we'll do just that. Let's grab a bite. Well, I do believe that'll be it for now. It began frustratingly. A griffin snatched away from my killing. And that horrid tower. But we came to a Venice-like place in all its wondrous glory in the end. And that is enough for me, currently. Well, I have been Neon Icy Wings, and this has been Finally! We have continued the story of Final Fantasy XV. And I shall now be taking my leave. Bye-bye.